Good morning. Uh, <laughs> I saved enough water for a cup of coffee. Uh, I'm about a mile and a half from water. Uh, so it won't be too tough to get there. So yesterday, we kind of decided that I was going to be on a self-rescue mission and that my ankle heal, the sprain, the tendonitis, whatever it is, it's getting worse and not better. And uh, I hiked 15 miles to get here yesterday and I was in pain the whole time. Which does detract from my love of being out here. I don't know why. But, um, so, I think I have 12 miles today to Highway 64. If I can't yogi a ride out of um, this Bayacito retreat center that's, I don't know, in a few miles. Uh, I passed a hiker. Um, Robin Perry, who gave me some ibuprofen last night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and uh, he said that there were day hikers out and about on the trails. So, I mean, I'll definitely try. Dash, my boyfriend, he says, the next car you see, you're getting on it. <laughs> so, um, maybe not quite that drastic, but I do need to get off the trail and try and heal up what's going on with my foot. So, if it was a competition, I'd say New Mexico 2, Splash 0, but it's just another opportunity to come back and enjoy this place that I've grown to really love. So, yay me. This camp has been the absolute best for listening to Elk Bugle. Oh my golly, I feel so lucky. What a joyous treat this has been. We go this way. CDT marker here. I think I'm supposed to cross on this log. Oh dear.
I'm gonna put this away <laughs> and see what I can do without killing myself. That was so scary. <laughs> ah! Now I'm gonna get a drink. That was scary. It's boiling. This is, uh, oops, lunch or dinner. I didn't have water last night, so I didn't have dinner. So I've stopped here at Rock Creek and I'm making some ramen. I might even make a ramen bomb. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Here's a stock tank. I mean, I guess if it was die or drink this water, I would drink this water. It sure doesn't look very appetizing. Trying to hitch. Maybe into Chama. And uh, I hate hitchhiking. And hitchhiking hates me. <laughs> so, I, ne I never got a hitch. I stood out there on that bloody road for three hours <laughs> and nobody picked me up and uh then I laid on my pack and had a little bit of an emotional meltdown and like what am I gonna do so I knew there was a campground back up here that I'd passed on my way out to the highway and uh I came back up here and camp apparently the campground is closing tomorrow so all of the toilets and water are shut down and closed but um they're allowing me to camp here for free tonight and uh I uh message crystal like I don't know what I'm gonna do to get out of here <laughs> apparently I'm not hitchhikeable I don't know nobody wants to pick me up on the side of the road I love New Mexico for so many things uh, the two that I can say that I don't love about New Mexico thunder boomers and People don't pick you up when you try to hitchhike. <laughs> I guess that's all right. Before I became a hiker, I would have never picked up a hitchhiker either. Uh, so, um, Crystal has said that she will come pick me up tomorrow morning. She is seriously an angel sent straight from heaven. So, I'm a lot less stressed out right now than I was earlier. And, uh, since I ate dinner for lunch, I just ate all my snack food in my bags. <laughs> Peanut M&Ms are a nutritious dinner, right? And uh, I'm probably going to watch a movie. And maybe take a pain pill or something. That ankle is just not a happy thing. Well, let me tell you, this is probably my last day on trail. I may pop in and say something else. But I've got 36 miles from here to the Colorado border. 36 miles. <laughs> oh my golly. Mm.